Jack? Yeah. I did some digging. This Chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? Let's do this. You see today. Monarch's oh, chronon great. technology. Most notably, the chronon field regulator. Move, move, move. Which is the only regulation and regulation of quantities of these particles. When the entire supply of the that choice guy from this location. <laughs>
Gotta find a way out of here. No clear exit down here. May have to head upward. There's gotta be something I can use to get up there. Sophia Emerald, rapidly than Mr. Serene had anticipated. Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Chronon levels we lower to a point oh, she must know a lot of the same stuff Will did. In the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sophia Amaral. Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast huh. technological advances in the area of Meyer Joyce particles, better known as chronon particles. On July 4th, 2010, unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small and focused area we now refer to as Ground Zero, located within the Riverport Industrial Zone. This resulted in extremely dense emissions of chronon <laughs> for extraction, which led to the chronon harvesting operation you see today. All of Monarch's chronon technology relies on these particles. Most notably, the Chronon Field Regulator, or CFR, which is the only oh. Not your average elevator. The entire supply of Chronon containers will be transported from this location. Jack, I found documents here about some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight. Tonight. After everything that's happened? It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Where time no longer flows in a consistent manner and shifts without warning. Many what have we got here? Ground Zero have never returned. We know that the fracture will occur on October 8th, 2016. We hypothesize that from this point forward, chronon levels in Ground Zero will slowly deplete until time anomalies cease to occur. For this reason, all harvesting necessary for sustained use of the CFR must be complete before the fracture runs its course. For more information, please refer to your employee manual. Thank you for your time.
Okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? I got that I got briefcase that we lifted from William Joyce's car. car. Laid out the Laid contents, contents in the trailer. trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene, Serene wants, wants the first, the first look. look. Till then, Til then, hands off. Hands off. Like the trailer this has power Teresa now. Said Mac, filling in for Bobby Radford. Bobby's taking a little break for health reasons. I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him a speedy recovery. Just take all the time you need, Bobby. We've got your back. Now, not to get too serious on you right out of the gate, but here's the latest on the awful tragedy down at Riverport University. The authorities are now looking for Jack Joyce, believed to be the mastermind behind the terrorist action at the university and personally responsible for several deaths. Details are still scarce, but it's believed Joyce's own brother, William Joyce, is among the dead. Little about Joyce is known yet, but given the actions of the activist group he was part of, it is now clear that allowing the anti-corporate protest to continue has backfired at a great human cost. Joyce's current whereabouts are unknown. Fortunately, security personnel from Monarch Solutions were on site and managed to intervene, saving countless lives. We'll keep you updated as this story develops. And now, some music. Okay. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. There wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy. I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Ah, oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Amy, you okay out there? Shit.
locked. There's gotta be another way to get through here. recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there, and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. Got the word. <clears throat> Safeguard squad's checking out that explosion. <clears throat> striker team is establishing a defensive perimeter around Ground Zero. An entire striker team? For one guy? University incident got HQ wetting their pants. The kid's gonna get torn apart like a goddamn pinata. I want 
Joyce contained before that stutter hits. guys. men to move through stutters. We knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh shit. He, he never tried to stop it.
Bill never told you what he did in that workshop? At Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. What is this? <clears throat> what? what hell, hell? What is, what this? is this? That already happened. There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he ne never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Don't do this. Don't do this. Survives, you say. 
are the only other one who's seen what I've seen. Don't be like that. Give me that advice. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It's impossible to crack. It was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock, I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. I refuse, I refuse to leave while Jack's still here. here. I need to contain him. Paul, your condition, condition is, is critical. critical. A stress. A stress. If, you if you don't receive, receive your treatment, your treatment you, know you know what could, what could happen. happen. Come to the Come island, to the right, island now. right now. The treatment, the treatment will be waiting, waiting for you. For you. You'll be back You'll in top, top condition, condition by the time the gale starts. starts. I don't like I don't it, like but you're right. You're right. Always looking out for me. Ready to chop, chop. No. You're not getting away that easy. There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. 
It didn't make anything you'd done any less hateful. There we go. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No!
Hey. There we go. Sir.
stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did. Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock.
never been a great listener. Well, time to start. Get in. What if I don't trust you? Then shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. My ride, my music. Deal with it. Who the fuck are you people? What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Mater doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. <laughs> <laughs>